Africa, 900 years ago. A great power, a cultured people. In the kingdom of Ife, now in Nigeria, a rich tradition of sculpture flourished, unlike anything in Africa or Europe at the time. These are works of technical sophistication. Magnificent craftsmanship and astonishing natural beauty. Come to the British Museum and connect with the humanity, the mystery and the art of Ife. The people who made these majestic sculptures, dating from the 16th to the 19th century, were relative newcomers in the art and craft of casting metal. Their oral traditions told them that they had learned their skills from the Yoruba people of Ife, about a hundred miles away to the northwest. In fact, this Benin bronze of a man on horseback has been interpreted as a metalsmith from Ife bringing the knowledge of casting techniques to the people of Benin. European experts might argue about the origin of this superb technique, but to the Bini there is no mystery. Their traditions state that it was taught to them by bronze casters from the sacred city, a man discovered 18 superb bronze heads. They were lying close to the palace of the king, the One of Ife. Archaeological evidence suggests that these bronzes were made several centuries before the Portuguese arrival in West Africa, perhaps as early as the 12th century. So wherever else the tradition has its roots, it's not in 15th century Portugal. But were they also the inspiration for the bronzes of Benin? There is more than tribal tradition to link the two. This little figure was dug up in the palace in Benin, but from the regalia on its chest, it can be recognized as an image of the Oni of Ife in full ceremonial robes. And exactly the same regalia is modeled on one of the bronzes that was found in Ife itself. So here, almost certainly, is the source of the techniques and traditions of the bronze casters of Benin. 